purple. What the heckity heck would you do? And more importantly, what would you eat if you were told that for the next 24 hours, you could only consume purple foods? You guys already know where this is going, don't you? You do. Yes, that is right. After a month's hiatus for no reason other than my own laziness and procrastination, we are back with another single color food challenge video thing. Yes, that's right. For the next 24 hours, I am going to be eating nothing but purple food. Is this one going to be simple and delicious or is this one going to be a bit of a kind of hellscape of monotone misery? <laughs> Let's get into it. So it turns out that despite the fact I thought blue and making a 24 hours of blue food video would probably be the most difficult of these kind of colored food challenges, oh my word. Purple is actually not that much easier at all. <laughs> Having been ingredients shopping yesterday and coming home with mostly just a wealth of beetroot and blueberries, <laughs> we're gonna see how we got on today. But anyway, let's see what we're having for breakfast. So here is our very purple breakfast. We have some lovely and gigantic grapes. Now, while these are technically red grapes, I think you'd be a fool to be able to tell me these were not purple. <laughs> so we're gonna have these lovely, big, juicy, crunchy boys, a nice kind of decent serving of them because I am hungry and I love grapes. And this lovely blueberry and lime yogurt from Yule Valley. Flavored yogurt isn't something I have all too often. I do actually quite like the very tangy dairy flavor of plain yogurt, but I am more than happy to be eating this as it is such a gorgeous color and it tastes absolutely lovely. I've certainly had worse breakfasts. And while I was plating up my very purple breakfast, I got this lovely little delivery from Emma at Mainly Breakfast. This is their seasonal eating calendar 2021. Now, while we're probably not at the stage where we're filling our calendars up with events, this I think is such a cute idea. Mainly Breakfast on Instagram, who I will throw up the handle for here just now. Every month they kind of produce one of these lovely hand-drawn images to let you know everything that's in season in the UK in each month. And the idea of turning this into a calendar I think is just gorgeous. It's so pretty. Everything's kind of hand-drawn and hand-written. It tells you everything you need to know about kind of the fruits and vegetables that are best whenever they are. And I just think it's a really nice idea. So yeah, I will throw up a handle on screen for you there if you want to check them out for yourself because I think it's a really cool idea. Time to say hello to today's extremely purple lunch. This definitely is not the prettiest bowl of food I've ever prepared but I, I am kind of obsessed with the colour. <laughs> so this is just kind of a very maverick beetroot soup. I know that definitely doesn't sound great. Right. <laughs> but basically I just kind of wanted to get creative with different ingredients I already had in my fridge. So in here we have some parsnips, we have some little kind of waxy potatoes, we have some onion, lots of kind of um, leftover vegetable stock we had from last night. And of course, to keep it on theme, I added some beetroot. Now, sadly, my local shop didn't actually have the kind of beetroot I was looking for, whether it was the raw kind or the kind of pre-cooked vacuum seal kind. They only had the jarred kind with vinegar. So not ideal, but honestly, if you reserve the kind of pink vinegary juices to use in something else and you rinse off the beetroot itself, it worked perfectly fine in dishes like this. Now we have this lovely, extremely wintry and very filling soup and I'm actually kind of happy with how it turned out. I've topped it with a bit of cheese, which yes, technically isn't purple, but the dish itself is, so I'm sure you'll allow me that. <laughs> so I am going to go and sit down and enjoy this. It is perfect for the kind of clear, but very cold weather we have here today. And then I will show you what we have baking in the oven for dessert. I don't know about you guys, but I can smell dessert. In the name of all things purple, I am so ready. <laughs> so this 
lovely hot very hot actually ouch this very hot beauty is a winter berry crumble now kelly what makes it a winter berry crumble seeing as berries aren't in season in winter well i'll tell you they were frozen <laughs> so underneath this gorgeous kind of purpley golden gray layer that we have here is a mixture of berries i chucked in about half a bag of frozen blueberries which are so wonderful at this time of year because they allow you that little kind of nice healthy taste of summertime that still tastes as good as when they're in season and they are so cheap so i mixed up some blueberries and blackberries with just two spoonfuls of sugar and a tiny bit of vanilla i feel like berries this rich really don't need that much in the way of flavoring like you might do with apple pies or apple crumbles then for the crumble topping a super super easy one because that is what we are about here on maverick baking i used just a mixture of regular chunky rolled oats a couple of spoonfuls of sugar some spices such as cinnamon nutmeg cloves coriander and ginger and blitz that all up with a couple of blackberries to add an extra bit of flavor and a different kind of color to the crumble chopped it on top and i've just baked it in the oven for 40 minutes at 180 degrees or about 200 degrees if you don't have a fan oven. And this is what we have, super wholesome, nothing fancy at all, but one of my favorite kinds of desserts at this time of year, when you want something filling, wholesome, hearty, and most of all, not like frozen or cold. <laughs> so let me just dish this up and we can talk about it in some more detail. So, so simple, but so worth it. Look how all of those gorgeous and super appropriate purple juices have escaped those berries with no need for coloring, no need for any sort of mega sweetness in there. And we have that lovely crunchy oat topping, which is set almost into this kind of flapjack-like texture that when you spoon it, it becomes this glorious kind of chunky crumble rich with some butter so so good reasonably healthy and a totally perfect winter dessert and a purple one at that but enough about how it looks let's talk about how it tastes crumble is honestly one of my favorite desserts whether it's kind of winter time or not so being able to have this during a challenge is very exciting mm. it's so beautifully simple so satisfying as always, the recipe for this gorgeous winter berry crumble will be in the description box below, as well as on my blog, maverickbaking.com. And I really, really hope you guys love this one as much as I do. Mm. So I've just chopped some of um, everyone's favorite thick, long purple vegetable. <laughs> into a pan and just kind of stir fried it a little bit with some soy sauce, some honey, some uh, leeks, because we didn't have any spring onion, but it's kind of doing the job. And this lovely thinly sliced aubergine is being colored by the remnants of the beetroot vinegar stuff that I saved earlier. So this is going to be like a nice kind of sweet and sour aubergine. And I'm going to make some like purple fried rice to go with it. A little bit weird, but we had to improvise. <laughs> Nature's hair dye. Yes, that is purple egg fried rice. <laughs> Any Asian viewers right now, I am so sorry. <laughs> Unusual, inauthentic, but close enough to purple while still being an actual meal. And it tastes good. <laughs> Weird aubergine fried rice thing. Okay, lovely people, I think that is going to be all for today's purple food video. This one did actually involve more creativity than I had expected, but I think we got there. Do let me know down in the comments if there were any other kind of purple foods you can think of. I was really struggling with this one. But as always, I enjoyed it and I can't wait to tackle 24 hours of pink food very, very soon. Though I imagine it'll be after Christmas because I fully plan to spend the next two weeks entirely submerged in cheese and mince pies. <laughs> As always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a big juicy thumbs up on your way out. Leave me a comment and do consider subscribing because it would be lovely to see you again. In the meantime, that's all I have time for. So I will see you for the next one.